Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Team of the Week reveal for Week 12. As you guys do know, usual stuff. Tuesday, got the Team of the Week. Got to check out what we hit on. So, so far, there's one confirmed guy, which we actually did hit on, which I will go over in the video, of course. Now, I didn't put him this high. I thought maybe he would just get a plus one, but he actually got the hero, which kind of throws off all our predictions, but it is what it is. Now, guys, for today's Poodle Squad, shout out as per usual. If you do want a chance to shout it out, again, just like the video. Turn on the noti bell, and of course, comment down below Poodle Squad. Now, for today's shout out, we got, uh, let's see, Hector Prasan. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for um, showing support. I greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, guys, if you need any coins to pick up any of these new Team of the Week players or any of the final Blitz players, head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Take advantage of the Blitz discounts. But as a matter for that, guys, let's head on over to the uh, screenshots of the uh, real player. As you guys do know, they did not increase the overalls, which just kind of suck. I was super hyped. So we are going to get now four weeks in a row in 92 overalls. So I think next week has to be the 93, but I think it should really catch up because Legends are 94. Um, the Masters of the Blitz are 94. Like I said... The best thing they can do for weekly content is to make sure that weekly content does correspond with 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 the, out with the overalls, right? Because last year what they used to do is they dropped like 92 overall legends when we had 94 overall players in the game, or 90 overall team of the weeks when we had 93 overall players. Like they're never going to be competitive, so no one cared for it. You make these guys the same overalls as the best cards in the game, and weekly you're caring for it. Now I understand not making them maybe 94s, but maybe just 93s, maybe 93s across the board, right? Like for one week, LTDs and the regulars are all 93s until the 95s go up, and then you go to 94. Something like that. But regardless about it for that, let's go check out the first player on the list. For the first player on the list, guys, we have Jeremy Chen, strong safety for the um, Carolina Panthers. 92 overall, hybrids are uh, safety. Might be one of the best users in the game. 92 speed, 94 excel, 81 tackle, 92 play rec, 92 pursuit, 85 man, 83 zone, 93 hit power. And now this is why he might be the best user in the game. Because everyone's saying online that he's not a good user because he has 85 band 83 zone well that's the thing user doesn't matter if you about coverage is because you're using him so it's all about what you do with him you're gonna have the 92 speed 94 excel with the hit power so you're gonna be you could put him in the box he has like on a big nickel scheme or anything hide him in the box they're gonna have one of the best linebacker safety combos in the league or in the in the in mud i should say he's gonna be super fast super great at acceleration which is really great for just picking up speeds on things he has a great jumping ability i'm pretty sure he has great jumping as well and not to mention He's not going to be that expensive because he is a team of the week player. So guys, this could be like this could literally be like one of those like Simmons early in the year type cards. Where you could just really go around and roam the field with him. And the best part is the hit power. It's like when you when you shoot a gap or you crack someone in the middle, you're going to get that good hit power too. Now I know this year has been weird with fumbling, and I know it's not exactly been consistent. But at the end of the day, we are going to be able to get the bigger hit animations, which could lead to fumbles or at least lead to drops if anything. But that's about it for him. Let's get back to the rest of the cards now that we have. This is the pre-revealed one. Let's go check out. The other cards that were revealed. So for the first plus one upgrade, we do have Deion Jones, 81 overall middle linebacker for the Falcons. So we did predict him. That's a nice upgrade. So that's definitely cool to have. Let's move on from there. We got Tyree Kill with the plus one. We did predict him as well. Now, sadly, Tyree Kill does not get a plus one speed on this one uh, when you do power him up, of course. Now, I did say this yesterday. I had a feeling with them just releasing the fastest card in the game with Tyree Kill, I didn't think that they would actually go ahead and give him an, an additional speed boost on top of what he already had. So it's more going to be like, oh, you know, after the catch, juke. You know, stuff like that. Maybe catching stats, but there's no speed upgrade, which we kind of figured. I don't. Th I didn't think they were going to give him up to like a 95 speed, regardless or 96, whatever he gets up to. So moving on from there, guys, we have Joey Bosa, another one on predictions. Again, a good upgrade. He's just going to get some extra finesse moves, some extra speed, and some stuff. You know, not going to make him game breaking because his block shit still sucks, but definitely going to get better at finesse move. Jarvis Landry did not predict him. Uh, no one's really, really, no one's going to really care about this Jarvis Landry, to be honest. Never really a great Madden card because of lack of speed and everything else. Antonio Gibson, we did predict he'd get an 89, so that's really cool as well. 91 speed, 93 excel, 80 agility, 85 carrying, 89 change of direction. This card's actually really good. 82 catching. Going to be a great budget back, considering he can catch that well. He can change the direction, any speed and excel. Not bad at all. Jimmy Ward, free safety for the 49ers. 90 speed, 87 excel, 88 zone. Could be a decent budget free safety, considering he will get the zone threshold. And he has decent speed and hit power. Now, for the first guy, this guy this is going to be our hero, our past hero for the Buffalo Bills. This is going to be one of the flashback offensive team of the weeks. Willis McGahey, cool to see him back in the game. Haven't seen him back, haven't seen him in a while. 91 speed, 91 excel, 87 agile, uh, 90 carrying, 63 catching, 88 change of direction, 92 trucking, 92 break tackle. Going to be a nice mix. He's going to be like what um, what Derrick Henry should be. Faster than Henry, 
Going to get the trucking and braking tackle as well. Decent change of direction. Now, again, not going to be too great. Going to be kind of like a Sean, um, the Sean Alexander or better. I don't think there's going to be a meta card by any means. Now, remember, you can power up and cam him up, which actually makes him pretty, really good. I don't think he's going to be meta, but he gets to a 92 speed, 92 excel, 93 truck, 93 off, 3 brake tackle. I'm going to be the best power backs in Madden 21. Now, surprisingly, they gave him all these good stats. Like, a 92 speed is actually pretty good. Now, imagine if they'd given him a 92 speed, He'd be super, super great. Now, like I said, I don't think he's the best back in the game, but he's definitely one of the better backs in the game, considering he does get power while also being fast. Like I said, this is what Derrick Henry should have been, right? Getting to a 92 speed with the power. And you're like, okay, I can substitute, you know, one speed or two. I can take a slight loss for all that power, but I'm not taking a four-speed loss for additional power, considering we know how power works in this game. Like, sometimes you get an animation, sometimes you, more than often, you don't. And sometimes guys like Barry Sanders get power animations more often than the Derrick Henry one, which doesn't make sense. But Wilson Gay, he's definitely cool to see him back. Next, we got the Marcus Wares, our other flashback right outside linebacker for the Dallas Cowboys. 89 speed, 90 excel. That, that's unreal. 91 strength, 88 tackle, 92 play rec, 89 block, 89 power move, 89 finesse. But guys, they are overloading us this year with amazing speedy outside linebackers. Powered up in Camden, guys. He gets 90 finesse move, 90 power move, 90 block shed, 93 play rec, 90 speed. He's going to be one of the best pass rushers in the game. Just up there with Derek Thomas, Lawrence Taylor, Ricky Jackson, and so many other guys we keep getting, guys. They're giving us they're giving us some insane, insane speed rushers, and he gets to be able to block shed and pass rush and run. He's going to be great, guys. going to be one of the best pass rushers in the game. Probably at a pretty decent price, too, considering his overall, considering it's team of the week. Not bad at all, guys. Definitely cool to see DeMarcus Ware back in the game. Did not predict Tim. Did not predict Willis McGahee, but still cool nonetheless. Then, guys, for this week's LTD, Janoris Jenkins. For the Giants. So this is like, this is a past year one, of course. This is one of the past year current LTDs. Now, powered up and cammed up, right? Well, I'll start with the basic stats. 91 speed, 93 excel, 93 agility, 85 jumping, 93 play rec, 93 man, 91 zone, 81 press. 81 press is what's going to, it's going to be the thing that hurts him here because, again, we had a man press meta night. Again, you could still just man him. Overall, guys, he's going to get to 99 man. If you power up and cam him up. So he's going to get 99 man coverage. I don't know how much the press is going to hurt him. Of course, you don't have to press, but this has been more of a man press, uh, bench press type of year. But his speed and excel, he's going to get 92 speed, 94 excel. That's good. That's not game breaking, but it's good. And he's going to get to 99 play rec, 99 man coverage with lockdown max, and approximately 97 zone coverage with lockdown max, and only going to be like an 87 press, which isn't horrible, but it's not 90. Overall, Janoris Jenkins does look pretty good. I don't think he'll be meta. He could play better than we think. Uh, you know, Jackrabbit, of course, but I, I don't know how he's going to actually end up uh, playing out here. Could be great, could be bad. Definitely looks like a mixed bag. I just wish the press was at least an 86, right? Just all we want, or an 85, or an 84. All we want to get is to 90 flat. 84 with a power up and Kem would have done it. I kind of wish they went that route with that, but it is what it is, guys. That pretty much does wrap up today's video. And these are all the screenshots we do have to show. Uh, those are all the players. So for me, guys, I think the Marcus Ware is really good. Willis McGee is really good. We got a Tyreek plus one, a Bosa plus one. Overall, it was a great team of the week. Now, I don't think it was game breaking, but we got we, it was very well rounded, right? Great edge rusher, great back. And of course, we got some decent players like Tyreek Kill, which is amazing. Deion Jones, which is decent. Joey Bosa, which is good. Antonio Gibson, which is really good. And, of course, Janoris Jenkins could be good. It really depends. 93 overall. Hopefully, next week, we finally implemented 94 overalls. But that's about it for the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that uh, noti bell. Come join the Poodle Squad. Like the video. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. And if you guys need coins, take advantage of Blitz offers. Head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 15% off your order. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'm out. Expect another video later today. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.